Serena, Leah, lovely to see you. Uh, here we are. Um, Serena, just, what, <clears throat> 10 months ago, you walked out of Wembley on, in your first week and you told us that you hoped you could get England to the final of the Euros. How difficult, how arduous, how much of a task has it been to get England here? Well, we've had lots of tests. Uh, um, but I think we did pretty well. I think the season has been really good for us. Um, and I think um, the group stage went relatively easy. We, well, it looks easy. It's never easy. And, um, well, we've all seen that the Spain game was really tight and close. Uh, so that was a very exciting one, too. And um, Sweden looked a little easier. But we had moments in the game that we had a little hard time, but also moments that we really dominated and had a good score. So here we are now. You've said, yeah, you just alluded to it there. You face moments of adversity on the field. You face moments. Can you please? Of course. Yeah, thanks. You face moments of adversity on the field. You face some difficult times off the field as a group as well. Has that put you in a better place going into this this final? Yeah, it's just really good to get all these experiences. Um, so what we're trying to do before this tournament, in the preparation, to to try to figure out what can we expect on and off pitch, and if you prepare really well, then uh, you you. Uh, some of those situations will occur too, and then we, we at least can know how we could react on that and how we could take that. Um, so I think the team has done really well, um, and I think we even we grew throughout the season, but I think we grew even more in this competition so far. You know I'm going to ask you about team selection. So, look, we saw all 23 players train earlier. Can we expect any changes tomorrow? Well, I don't want to say anything about that. Uh, everyone is fit. We'll make hard choices. And we know how strong our squad is, and that we have lots of opportunities of players to play. Leah, you are probably one of the biggest England fans I know. <laughs> you talked about your journey from going from six minutes of tournament football to where you are now. How have you, again, can you even visualise how it's going to see, feel tomorrow when you lead England out at a packed out Wembley? Uh, no, um, none of us have been in that position before um, in that team to walk out or on this stage. So it'll be a new one for all of us. But I think what happens in a tournament is you grow game by game. By game. And I think the opportunity that I've had for growth in this tournament has um, given me confidence. I think that tomorrow I'll be ready uh, for whatever emotion or, or feelings come my way. Don't need to tell you what it means to play in the final, but this is Germany. Germany, like, does it add a little bit more spice? Add it almost a little bit more of a kind of fear factor going into this, considering, you know, what they bring and their mentality and all those kind of things. I think it's a good narrative for, for you guys. Obviously, it's a fairy tale, a fairy tale fixture with the history behind it. But I think for us, uh, you would never expect to get to a final without playing the best team in the tournament. And I, I, you know, in terms of, I think the journey that both of us have been on. You've got the two, two teams that have had the best tournaments in the final, which is the best thing. So I think this is what we expected, to come up against a team playing their best football, and luckily we're playing ours. So is that what you agree with? The best, Germany are the best team in the tournament? Well, when you read the final, um, then you're one of the best teams in the tournament. I think we have a very good team too, and we don't fear anyone.